EA Sports. It's in the game. Midwest to the southeast. Army Navy robbery game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Ah! NCAA football 2005. Charlotte, North Carolina is ready to bring you a great bowl game. It is freezing out here for today's game between the Troy State Trojans and the West Virginia Mountaineers. And here come the Mountaineers. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. The Mountaineers are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. West Virginia looks to be pretty unstoppable offensively, and that's primarily because of their quarterback. Not only is this guy gifted physically, he's got such a grasp of this game mentally. Lee, he's a coach's dream. Yep. No question, Kirk. West Virginia has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. West Virginia has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Short kickoff. Number nine takes from the ten. A little shake and bake. Ooh. They'll set up shot at the twenty-nine. Number nine, the lone back. Back to pass, under pressure, there's a fumble. Number nine recovers a loose ball. And luck was on their side right there. No doubt, I guess sometimes it is better to be lucky than good. Well, somebody better tell that quarterback his luck's gonna run out. He needs to start holding on to that football better. Second and 15, ball on 24. Yeah. Troy State comes out with an eye formation. Throws this one out to the right. And he can't hang on to it. Dropped by the wideout. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on their own 24. Troy State comes out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Wants to get it out on the screen. And it's incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it away. Number 85 takes it at the 43. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterpart. They'll get the ball here at the 45. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. There's the play fake. Throws this one out to the right. And down he goes. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Number two lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He going right. Off his hands and incomplete. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Trojans line up in a nickelback. Throws a lob pass out to the left. Loses the football. Number 81 with a recovery. They should be thankful to get it back. Exactly, and the coach can breathe easy now that his own player recovered the fumble. Third and long, ball on the 42-yard line. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. Throws, and he pulls it down. And he's all the way down to the 17-yard line. Your reaction to that pass play, Coach? Well, anytime you get a first down, you're happy. But in this case, you get a first down and then a bunch of yards on top of that. Ha! You're ecstatic. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. A little misdirection. Brought down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got a the face mask on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. West Virginia lines up in a goal line set. Throws. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll be a loss of one. Right. Troy State lines up in a dime defense here. Under heavy pressure. To the end zone. And that one's fallen incomplete. The Mountaineers with four receivers. They hand it off again. And he's taken down. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up, and it's good. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Number 12 looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 24 takes it to 12. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was played out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap it. They'll start this drive at the 19. Troy State goes with the ace set here. Wants to throw outside. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Second and ten. Ball on their own 19. Troy State lines up in a shotgun set. 
And they hit him in the backfield. It's an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on their own 14. The Mountaineers bring in the nickel package. Across the middle, incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, Coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He punts it. Number 85 takes it at the 47. He spins. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll take over at the 28. The Trojan line up in a nickelback. There's a the play fake. He rolls out to the right. Wants the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28. The Mountaineers come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back. And I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. First and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Mountaineers come out in the ace formation. They'll go with a run once again. Brought down. Gain of nine. Number one, lines up as a single back. Another run. Touchdown, West Virginia. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. West Virginia, 10. Troy State, nothing. Number 12, ready to kick. Number nine, back to the Here's the kick. Number nine, pass it at the five. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard.
And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, West Virginia 10, Troy State nothing. Second and 10, ball on their own 22. Troy State comes out in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, wants to throw outside. Got it! And he's tackled! What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. High formation here. He'll get the call again. Takes off a tackle. And they make the stop. Nine-yard pickup. Second and one. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Mountaineers line up with six defensive backs. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 43. Troy State lines up in a goal line set. Play action. He's under some heat. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 49, boots it way up there. Number four, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 19. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 19-yard line. Ace backfield, drops back to pass, and he's gonna lose yards on this one. Second and 15, ball on their own 14. Number two is back in the gun. Back to pass. Pressure coming. Across the middle, off his hands and incomplete. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 14. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. Looks, wants the middle. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. They send out the punting unit. Number nine, back to return. Punts the ball away. Number nine takes it at the 49. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. From the gun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Over the middle. In and out of his hands. I think he heard footsteps that time, guys. He must have heard something, because he just flat out dropped that ball. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. From the gun. 
They'll work the right Shoulder. side. And he's tackled. Nothing going on that one. It's third down and 10. Ball in the 47. Troy State comes to the line with three wide. Looking, rolling out to the right side. With the throw. And it's caught. And down he goes. The receiver did come down with the ball, but he'll be short of the first down. Yeah, I just can't figure out why you'd run that play on third down. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 49 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 47 calls for the fair catch. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. West Virginia lines up for the shotgun set. Here's a little draw play. And they make the stop. A two-yard run by the halfback. West Virginia takes a timeout. Two minutes to go in the half. The Mountaineers come out in a shotgun. On the ground, up the middle. He jukes him, brought down. So they get about three on the draw. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 27. Troy State puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drops back to pass, steps up, down the middle. Finds his receiver, they'll bring him down. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10, ball on their own 40. West Virginia lines up with three receivers. He's going left. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Number two comes to the line with three wide. He's gobbled up in the backfield. West Virginia calls a timeout. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. West Virginia comes out with an eye formation. He drops back with the throw, and he drops it. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 31 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 25 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Move. Has some daylight. And he's tackled. Troy State takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 33 yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. 
almost picked off. Nearly intercepted that time. On that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and the quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. Third it's third and inches. Ball on the 33. The Trojans line up in a goal line formation. Tackle. Troy State calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Three wideouts to the right side. They'll throw on first down. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. Only on purpose. Ten yard penalty. Still so instead down. of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. The Mountaineers line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. Looks. He's going left. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and long coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a goal line set. Inside give. And they make the stop. And they pick up nine there. So another third down upcoming for the offense. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, West Virginia, 10, Troy State, nothing. Troy State will be kicking off to start the second half. Number nine. And they'll be returning this one. Number nine takes from the 10. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25 yard line. First and 10. Brought down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second, Second and nine, nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. The Mountaineers line up in an eye formation. And down he goes. About four yards on that play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Number two is back in the gun. He drops back. He decides to run with it. With the spin, they'll bring him down. They made him pay with that run. Yeah, the quarterback is so dangerous because he can beat you throw or run. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. It's a direct snap. And he's tackled. Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. 
West Virginia comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Spinning. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Troy State lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it off. Number nine fields it to 29. Across midfield. Down the sideline. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Mountaineers line up with six defensive backs. Tries to juke. And he's taken down. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I agree with you. He's such a natural runner. First and ten. Ball on the 21. They line up in an eye. They'll throw on first down. It's tipped. Great play in the end zone by the quarterback. Man, oh man, this guy is some kind of athlete. He's a real playmaker out there on D. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Mountaineers bring in the nickel package. Again with the run. He juice. Tackle. A gain of six. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws. Spin move. And they make the stop. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. They'll work the right side, and he's taken down. Gain of a yard by the fullback. come out in a goal line set. He'll get the call again. And he's tackled. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. The Trojans come to the line with their jumbo package. They go with a toss. Well, that's how you get it done when you're down by the goal line, coach. When you're close like this, you tell your guys, get in there, push, shove, and block. Just get the ball in the end zone. And he hits the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
Number 20 is lined up to kick this one off. Number nine, back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number nine takes it at the eight, makes a move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line, first and 10. Number two with three wide receivers. He breaks free. And they make the stop. A 10-yard gain. It's second and inches. Ball on their own 35. Ace backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. Third, third and one, one coming up on this play. Ball on the 34-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. And he's taken down. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arm. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. Number two is back in the gun, drops back to pass, steps up, fires deep down the left side. And it falls incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. He might have a chance. Get past the tackler. And down he goes. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first down. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. And he couldn't hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. Second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Troy State brings in the nickel here. Across the middle. Got it. They'll bring him down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Incomplete pass. Too tall for his intended target, and that should have been six. Yep, he had his man wide open, but his arm didn't do what his brain told him to do. The Mountaineer come out in the ace formation. He lobs it left. And they make the stop. A yard on the play action that time.
So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Trojans line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He can scoop. And now he's going to improvise. Brought down. He picked up the first down on that run. Brad, this kid could hurt you in so many ways, and he just showed one way right there. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, that ball should have been picked off there. Number one is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Here's the give. They'll bring him down, and he gets a yard on the run. Nickel defense. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Lines up for the attempt. That will extend their lead to more than a field goal. It's up. And it splits the uprights. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 12 is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 24 takes from the 10. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. We'll see what happens on the possession. They'll go to work at the 25. Troy State lines up in a double tight set. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's rolling right. He's in trouble. And he just gets rid of it. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25. Troy State lines up in the shotgun set. Looks. Rolls to the left. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So he's sacked by the fifth-year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. Fourth and a long shot. He's going left. 
And this one's broken up. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll take over at the 18. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. On the ground with the tailback. Big opening. Touchdown, West Virginia. Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that run. That's a nice touchdown. Here are today's Red Zone Players of the Game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. He drops back. Go into the end zone. They don't get it. They tried to throw it in there and came up empty. West Virginia lines up for the kickoff. Number 24 and number 9 deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number 9 takes it at the 8. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll start this drive at the 25. Number 7 has four receivers lined up here. Short toss. Complete. They complete that play action pass. Good for seven yards. They'll work from the shotgun. And he's hit as he throws. And it falls incomplete. And the blitz works that time. And let me say this. Now pay attention. This is exactly why you want to put the pressure on a quarterback. That time it was an incomplete pass. The next time it may be an interception. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Trojans line up with three wide. It's a pass on third and short. He's looking. Throw. And he's tackled. Troy State takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 37. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. It's deflected. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Mountaineers bring in the nickel package. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had a guy open and missed him. Oh, man, the coach is going to pop an assets over that one. They missed getting a huge play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Looking. Under pressure. Throws it out there. It falls incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. West Virginia brings in their nickel package. Looks down the middle. And he can't make the catch. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll set up shot at the 37. The Trojans line up in a nickel back. The counter. And they got him for a loss. Troy State calls a timeout.
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. The Mountaineers go with the eye formation. Pullback on the inside give. Tackle. Troy State takes a timeout. Third and eight. Ball on the 35-yard line. Nickel defense. Here's a counter play. Got some open field. And he's taken down. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Troy State probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. And we that's thank you kindly game. for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, West Virginia 19, Troy State 7. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.